Linda Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is my dough bowl, as you saw me deconstructing it a little bit there at the beginning. And we're gonna reconstruct it and we're gonna add in a little bit of a touch of Easter. And then it will sit right back there on that table right in the middle of the table with the two bunnies flanking it and then the two candlesticks flanking it. I just want it to be subtle. Again, just a subtle plug-in of Easter. Also, I have a few questions that I'm gonna go ahead and answer since it is Friday, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and take the weekend off again, you guys. I, I, I will admit that I did enjoy taking the weekend off last week. We very well might go see Mr. Maverick and Candace and Dustin too. So I'm not positive on that. It'll be either this weekend or next weekend. So I just want to keep myself free, you know, so that I can just pick up and go when I want to, you know? <laughs> so uh, a little bit of news. Chris and I, as you all know, got our second dose of our Moderna vaccine yesterday, second and final. <laughs> and obviously you can see I'm feeling absolutely fine. I'm not having an issue. Uh, the only thing, I, you know, I got it on this arm and I can't even feel where she gave me the shot. And the nurse and I, we had just such a lovely conversation and everybody was upbeat and positive. And we, there at Mary Washington, you guys, for those of you local, I mean to tell you, we were, we were practically running. It was, it was bing, bang, boom. And they just did it really quickly. We went in, we got our, you pull up and, uh, they take your name and they tell you to go park and they said that they'll get in touch with you within 15 or 20 minutes. Two minutes, not even two, we barely got in the parking place, you guys. And uh, we got a text to say, we're ready for you. We zip right on in there. We get our temperatures taken. Both of us didn't have a temperature. We go on through. Last time we had to stand in a line right in, in a little hallway. This time we went right straight to registration right straight to you know to the young lady there it happened to be the same one we saw a month ago we took our name took our phone numbers and off we went to go and get our you know our vaccine sat down at separate tables and had our vaccine didn't even feel it you guys again didn't even feel it. it's just a teeny tiny little needle and I sat there and talked to the nurse because there weren't that many people coming in I mean they were flying through there very quickly uh, this, everybody yesterday was getting their second dose. I think that's why it went quicker, you know, because everybody who was there yesterday was getting, was receiving their second dose. So then we had to, of course, sit for 10, we had to go and, uh, you know, kind of sign out. And uh, then we went into a separate room and sat for 10 minutes to make sure we didn't have an acute reaction, which we didn't. And then we left and we were gone from beginning to end. We were there more than 20 minutes. I'm not even kidding you. It was that quick. And uh, then we went to lunch afterwards, came home. We keep waiting, you know, for the side effects to hit. <laughs> and we're just not feeling any, you know, any side effects to tell you the truth, you guys. Uh, so, you know, that's just us. Now, with all of that said, I got attacked the last time, you know, that I talked about this, as I mentioned the other day. And, you know, I wanted a disclaimer here. Chris and I have chosen to get the vaccine. We think, we feel that it is the very best thing for us to do. I am not saying, we are not saying or encouraging anyone else to get the vaccine. That is a personal choice. It was our personal choice that we expect you to respect us for, and I respect you for making your personal choice. So keep the negativity away, please. This was our choice, and I'm happy to report to those who are getting the vaccine that uh, that Chris and I are not having any symptom, uh, any side effects. That's not saying you won't. Uh, a lot of people say that they get more side effects with the second, the second vaccine. Just because we haven't felt symptoms does not mean that you won't. Uh, but we always figure whatever side effects we have is going to be a lot better than contracting COVID. You know. So again, this was our personal choice. Our personal choice that we expect you to respect us for, just as we respect you if you choose not to get it totally okay, doesn't matter. 
whatever, you know. Uh, but I'm happy to report that uh, we're not having any side effects. And we didn't last time. So that's where we are with our second Moderna shot, our second Moderna vaccine. Yay, I'm happy. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to put this dough bowl together first and foremost here. And uh, then I'll come back and we'll do the questions. How about that? So let me get my camera turned and in, in a good position. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing here. I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting here, but I'm not sure what all I'm doing yet. So let me get my camera situated and I will be right back in just a second. Okay, here we go. As you know, I bought this bunny to sit right in the middle of the dough bowl. So I thought it would be cute because I really don't have any bows or any, any ribbons over on this side of the house. I don't have any bows at my, at, you know, on my hutches or anything. Uh, so I thought I would like to put a bow around his little neck. So I have some of my, you know, my blue and white ribbon that I got from Perpetual Ribbons. This is an old um, roll that I've been nursing for a long time. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece off of there. And I'm just gonna, you know, tie a bow. Actually, I think I'm gonna fold it in half. And I'm just going to do tie a square bow, which means I'm going to take the left strip of ribbon over the right. Pull it through there. And then I'm going to make a loop with the left and go over it with the right and pull it, kind of twist it and pull it through. Actually, Twist it and pull it through. I'm just gonna pull it up and pull it in there. I'm not gonna twist it. And pull it tighter as best you can and just make a little bow. And then I'm going to unfold just the loops. Cute, 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 cute. All right, and then I'm just going to dovetail the two tails. Okay. All right, so we've got Mr. Bunny ready, or Mrs. Bunny, whatever. Cute, huh? Very cute with the blue bow around its neck. So let me move this bunny for the time being, and I'm gonna stand up and, and pick up my camera a little higher. So I'll be right back in just a second. Let me get myself situated so that I can reach the stuff that I wanna put in this dough bowl. Okie dokie. Now, as you can see here, I have a bunch of stuff already in this dough bowl. And what I have right now, and I'm just gonna leave in place, you guys, is I have a greenery garland just like this on the bottom. And then I have a blue and green garland, just like I have everywhere else for my blue and white decor, wrapped around a pip berry garland. See that, it's a cream pip berry garland. And then I have fairy lights wrapped around the Pipberry Garland. I have two sets of fairy lights twisted around in here. And what I wanna do 
and I'll show you where I plug them in. I'm gonna make sure that I have this, what I just took off from the topiary that I had in here. I wanna make sure that it's someplace where I can grab it. Let me show you, here is where I'm going to put an external battery. Now this is one of the bigger ones that I have for my travels, and it has two USB ports, and it is a rechargeable battery. So, so as you can see, I have these two fairy light boxes that Chris has rigged up. You can see the dowels in here. The, the, the video where he shows how he rigs everything up to be a battery operated lights like this to be, you know, so you can plug a USB into like an external battery like this or into a wall outlet is always linked in the description of my, in the description box of my video. So what I'm gonna do, he has one cord coming out of one box and he's got the other cord coming out of the other and I'm just gonna plug them in here Turn on the battery. And I thought I brought the remote control over here. And then you can just use your remote control and you can turn your fairy lights on. So there I have both strands of fairy lights. You can see they're all blinking back here too. I'm gonna put it on uh, number eight, set it on number eight, just because I know that's steady on. And I want them to be steady on. Okay, so there we go. Got my fairy lights on, so I know where they are. So the next thing I wanna do is make sure that this is, that my fairy lights are snug, fairy night boxes are snug down here where I know I can get to them easily. And I usually just put a piece of foliage over that so I know where it is and probably a hydrangea will go there too. Okay. okay, so there we go with the lights. So let's set Miss Bunny down in here. I thought about using a, uh, a cake stand to set her up on. Then I decided, nope, I didn't want to set her up on a cake stand. In fact, I just want to manipulate kind of the foliage underneath of her to just kind of lift her up a little bit higher on this one end, just like that. And then I have these eggs and I thought about setting them up on like cake stands or something like that. I'm not even sure I wanna use these to be honest because what I do have is a set of these eggs that I have been using everywhere. And I thought I might take the rest of these fairy lights and just wrap them around this garland. Although you watch me, I'm not gonna be a happy camper when I go to unfurl this. <laughs> but I thought it would be pretty if I went ahead and just wrap the rest of these fairy lights. I did order pastel fairy lights, but they didn't come. So we're just gonna go with the white ones, y'all. Since that's what I have in here already. We use the pastel somewhere else. So anyway, I think I'm just going to wrap these fairy lights around this garland. And then I'm gonna get the garland situated around the bunny. And we'll see what else we do after that. I want her to set up a little bit more in here. I have another piece of garland I might stick under her a little bit to pull her up a little higher in the decor. Cut a little piece of this garland. This is a garland I had in the garage. I did not go out and buy this for this purpose. There we go, much better. Super cute, just like that. Now I did have a little bit of 
very lights left, but I'm just going to make sure I know where the end is. So I'm just going to take them around the bottom of the bunny. Hopefully I'll remember. Okay, now, I don't know that I want these eggs in here. I could do one on either end like that. And then, My hydrangeas back in. This is the same thing. These are the same flowers that I used before. But first thing I want to do is add in my my gold leafy stuff here. Some of these little carrots that I got from Hobby Lobby. So, let's see, I don't know that I'll need any more eggs, huh? going to do it y'all I really don't think I want to put any more than that in that I think it looks super pretty like that if anything I have a little bit more of this greenery I happen to find in the garage and I thought a couple of more pieces of this just coming out the sides might be cute This is the, it just grabs onto everything. <laughs> I think this is gonna be super cute. I love it with that big bunny. Oh my goodness. So cute, so, so cute. Alrighty, there it is. So at the end of the video, I will take it and put it over on the table and we'll take a peek at how it looks into pl in place over there. I love it. All right, I'm gonna clean up here a little bit and then I will be right back and I will answer some questions in just a few minutes. I'm back and I'm super happy with how that dough bowl worked out. Oh my goodness, it is super pretty. It is big, it is huge. And it is, you know, as I like to say, it's large and in charge. <laughs> so I think it is going to make quite a statement over there on my kitchen table. And I'm super happy with it. I just can't tell you how happy I am that that bunny, she's sitting up in there so pretty with the bow and, you know, putting a little bit of the egg garland in, but not going over the top with it, adding in the blue and white eggs. I think it looks great. I think it looks great. It's not absolutely not over the top. Uh, 
just subtle. Again, plugging in Easter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And the carrots. Those carrots. They're so cute. Oh, my goodness. All right. Okie dokie. I pulled up my questions. I've got four. It looks like I've got four questions. One that looks like it has two in it. So let's get started. Okay. Number one is from Tammy Feltman. Uh, you are so sweet and such a wonderful teacher to all. Oh, Tammy, thank you. A question for you. Do your daughters have interest in any of your decorations when you clean out your decor? Do they have any interest in you handing them down to them? Um, I would say some of it, yes. I would say some of my nicer pieces. Uh, absolutely, I think that they could incorporate them into their homes, especially with the blue and white. Not so much the primitive country, they're not into that. But the way I've been decorating more in this eclectic style, you know, it's, I really, I just not farmhouse, it's not country, it's not really shabby chic. It's kind of a mix of all of my favorite things. I'll just put it that way. And I have been successful, I think, at mixing them all and pulling it all together and making everything look cohesive. So for instance, I can certainly see Candace, I'm looking at these big eggs, those big glass eggs. I know she would love those in her house, you know, and they're the, and Kristen would too, because they're just the right color for her house. You know, it's just, I, 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 you know, I'm not sure that the bunny family would be of their taste uh, or that either have a place that they could put the bunny family. So for instance, they're a little large and in charge. <laughs> Talk about large and in charge. Uh, but I would say some of the things that I have been collecting more recently, also some of the more sentimental pieces, like my mom's tray for sure, uh, I think. And some of my more sentimental pieces that they remember as children and certain decor that I did when they were kids. Absolutely, absolutely, I think they would. Uh, neither decorate as much as I do, but they just both have full-time jobs. Candace has a baby, they work, you know, they're, it's, you know, it's hard to decorate, you know, to this scale when you're working, when you have a full-time job, you know, so. But yeah, they, I think they would, Tammy, some of it, especially what I've been using lately. Okay, uh, thank you for that question, Tammy. Okay, number two is from Buffalo Check Chicks. Hi, ladies, Ms. Marlene and Ms. Kathy. <laughs> How are you guys doing over there on your new channel? Oh my goodness, if you guys haven't gone to check them out, go check out the Buffalo Check Chicks. They're just getting started. Could use a boost in subscribers and in views. Go give them a like and subscribe and hit that bell, you guys. <laughs> Okay, uh, their question is, I love the bunnies Chris made. Has he ever thought about starting his own YouTube channel? Your entire family is extremely talented. Your mantle was absolutely gorgeous. Love the colors, the blue and white, and that garland is so pretty. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, oh my goodness, how can I put this? Other than just to say it, Chris would never consider starting his own YouTube channel, you guys. Never in a million years. I cannot even imagine a scenario in which he would come in front of the camera like we all, you know, like all every other YouTuber you see pretty much do. And uh, he, he did that tutorial that you can always find, as I said, linked in the description box below. And it was just his hands and he and his voice and he was explaining, but he would never want to run a channel. He, he's got other, too much other stuff going on. You know, he did that for me and for you guys, you know, but no, he would not consider. But he, he is super talented. He's a wood, beautiful woodworker. He fixes everything known to man. He can rig up anything. He's, you know, he's amazing. He's just an amazing, an amazing man. But thank you so much for all of your sweet words about my mantle and the blue and white and the garland and all that. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, number three. Oh, my goodness. I did not pull off your name. Oh, my gracious. Oh, my goodness. I just feel horrible, you guys. I cannot find that question anywhere who wrote me this. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I never, ever, ever pull off the questions without having a name attached. So somebody asked me, uh, hey, Arlen, Liz was so right in that you do have a sweet voice that just pulls you in and gives it you a big hug. You've touched so many lives through your channel, and I know I'm so grateful for you every day 
for how much you have been a blessing to me. I know, I know you. I just don't know who you are. Oh my, I don't know your name right now. Oh, this is crazy. Liz is your angel watching over you. Your Easter decor looks so effortless and fits in beautifully. I agree about that angel. <laughs> I have a question for you. What size rug is under your formal dining room table and do the legs of the chairs stay on the rug when someone is seated at the table? Many thanks, love and hugs. Uh, that rug is an eight by 10. Yes, an eight by 10. And yes, the, the, folks, the folks chair, except for on this end up by my hutch. And the only reason that is, is that we couldn't move the rug down any further that direction. We could have, we had a little wiggle room and we could have moved it further down, but then it would have been smack up against the hutch. And I didn't want it to be, I wanted to have a little floor space there. So at this end, at this end, right up here where, you know, where the table kind of, you look at the table and then you can see the hutch behind it. That end chair the back legs do come off when I sit in it. Now, somebody thinner than me can sit in there, <laughs> you know, but without it probably coming off the rug. But the rest of the, yes, the, the chairs stay on the rug. And I'm so sorry that I don't remember your name. I don't remember who asked me this. I feel horrible. I'm so sorry. Now, before I go on, as I was back here looking at my questions, you guys, I did want to uh, mention... I do not know this lady by any stretch of the imagination, but several of you have mentioned her to me and I did go and watch her video. Her name is, um, actually, I don't know her. I think it's maybe Melissa. I'm not sure. Please forgive me. But her channel name is The Needy, K-N-E-A-D-Y Homesteader. And she had the most devastating thing happen on, I think it was Valentine's Day. I did go watch the video a couple days ago. Uh, but uh, she, her husband, and her two children were hit head on by a drunk driver. And her husband was killed. And her two children were terribly wounded, broken limbs, and they are healing at home now. I believe they've been released from the hospital. She has had, uh, I believe, uh, a compound fracture on one leg and a broken ankle on the other. She's got pins and rods and stuff in one leg, and she's got, you know, uh, she had surgery on both legs, two broken arms, and it's just it's just a devastating, devastating story. If you guys would like to go and check her channel out, I don't ever ask about GoFundMe pages or anything like that. But in this situation, if you have a heart to do such a thing, you may want to go and check the Needy Homesteaders channel out and listen to that video. And uh, apparently she's very sweet and is a Christian. And I, I, again, I didn't know her. I didn't know of her because she and I don't really, you know, work in the, in the crafting kind of in the same, in the same genres, you know, but uh, I've had a couple of you bring her to my attention. And I did want to let you know that I did go look and I did want to mention her before moving forward in my other questions here. So if you, if you are of a heart or mind, to do that at the very least please say a prayer for her little family uh, she does have another youtuber i believe coming to stay with her in her home to help her with daily tasks uh and to keep her children and watch her dogs and dog or i don't know how many dogs she has but uh you know to help her recover and uh so take a take a peek over there the needy k-n-e-a-d-y homesteader uh, I did want to mention that. Uh, also, let's go back to here because I see more questions I may have missed here. So let me go back here to my questions and see what I have written down. So I answered the one about the rug. Okay. And then number four is from Cindy. I am going to butcher it. Burbeck? Bur Burberich? 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 Maybe that's it. Burberich. Oh, well, here she says, <laughs> pronounce Berberidge. She has it right there. <laughs> I didn't read on. Yes, pronounce Berberidge. Yay. <laughs> okay. 
every night I look forward to seeing if you put up a video. Oh, I love watching you and the different decor, especially the cobalt blue, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> uh, question, where do you get your metal lanterns? Question one, and then I'll come back to uh, question two. Uh, metal lanterns, I'm not sure which one she's talking about. Possibly the big ones that I use. Uh, I have one in on the dining room table and I've used one here on this table before. I got those at local, uh, two local country stores here in my town, but I can give you the measurements of those big lanterns. Uh, they are 20 inches tall by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. Uh, and other lanterns I've gotten from, uh, you know, various places. Kirkland's is one of my favorite places to find lanterns. I got a white one from uh, Pier 1 before it closed, although I hear Pier 1 has a website now, I believe. So you can check there. Uh, and that is another place, the Christmas tree shops. That's another place. I've got them at, at home. You know, sometimes uh, I haven't bought, I guess that white one really is kind of the last one that I purchased. I haven't purchased any, any lanterns as of late, have I? Oh, I'm fibbing. I did. I purchased these off of Amazon. I have a couple of... Uh, kind of whitewashed gray ones in my Amazon shop if you want to take a peek there. So they're kind of cute. Uh, I showed that in my Christmas, or my Christmas. <laughs> I showed that in my kitchen tour the other day. So, okay, let me go back here to my questions because I know I, I passed by a couple that I didn't pull off. My brain is a sieve. Uh, one is from Catherine C, S-E-A-Y. I'm wondering if she, oh no, she lives in Tennessee. She said, how did you get your vaccine so fast? I turned 60 yesterday and live in Tennessee. My age group is nowhere near getting the vaccine. Uh, Catherine, I really, I don't know what to tell you as far as Tennessee is concerned. I was considered, uh, I don't know what my level was, or it's probably different here in Virginia as it was in Tennessee, but all I did was fill out the paperwork and I mean, online through our health department and I clicked obesity, but you know, we all know, everybody knows that I'm junky bunky. So we got called. I don't know. I don't know. We didn't do anything special. We just filled out the paperwork and waited for our email. And we got our email like two and a half, three weeks later. And that said, you know, you can come in on this day. What time do you want? And we filled out that, and then we went a month ago for the first shot, and then yesterday for the second. So I don't know what to tell you about Tennessee. I think every state is handling it differently. So I don't know. I don't know, Catherine. But that's how, that was the process for, for here in Virginia. Okay. Uh, this one is from Heart of Chocolate. Everything looks so pretty and happy. I've always loved bunnies. Finding cute ones was difficult, but now how do you choose? <laughs> Thanks for your prayers. And I'll add you to my prayers. Have a blessed day. Yeah, thank you so much, honey. And thank you for those prayers. I appreciate it. I very much appreciate it. Uh, I don't know how I find cute ones. I just kind of go look and pick up what I like, <laughs> you know? And uh, like I knew this one. I knew right when I saw this bunny sitting in my dough bowl, I knew exactly where I wanted it for. I don't normally buy things willy-nilly. Like choose although, just what I like. And, or if I'm going for a specific like this, a specific centerpiece, or if I have a, a, a specific arrangement, or if I'm buying for the hearth, or for the mantle, or for, you know, a tabletop, or something like that, I usually pick, you know, try to think about what I want to do with my decor before I do it, you know, and that's why I went down this year and picked out all the stuff I wanted to utilize, and I've only been picking up, believe it or not, I've only been picking up what I think I'll need to augment that decor, to go with my blue and white. So, that, I, you know, I wish I, I wish I could tell you a better way, but I don't have any, like, there's no script that I follow or anything. I just pick up what I like. Uh, okay, Susan Armstrong asks, where did I get the gold gilded eggs? I love them. Uh, and I told you I got them at Hobby Lobby, and I did. The, um, when I answered this, I don't know that I had found the... Uh, the garlands. Uh, I did find them and they're on their way. They have been shipped. I bought four uh, of the gold 
They call them sheer garlands, sheer egg garlands is what they're called. So, uh, but I found them at a place called Sweet Magnolia Company, and I can give you a link for them down in the description box. Uh, the ones on the picks I got at Hobby Lobby, and I haven't tried to find them again this year, so I don't know where you would be able to get those. Possibly at the same place, I don't know. One lady asked me where she could get the blueberries and I told her, but she never said. I asked her if she enjoyed the video. I hope she did. Uh, but I told her where she could get the blueberries. Um, Pam Glover, just these hers were more rhetorical questions. Hi, Chris. Arlene, Chris, and you will, def you will definitely be in my prayers for the second shot tomorrow. My husband and myself got ours Friday morning. I just don't understand people. Why would they get upset over what you feel is right for yourself and Chris? The vaccination has proven to be very controversial. Again, I don't understand people at all. This COVID needs to go away. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. I don't know why it's so controversial either, and I'm not going to get into a conversation about that, to be honest with you. Because uh, that will just bring more fodder, more more stuff at me, more negativity at me, unfortunately, Pam. So I'm just not going to discuss it other than to say it's our personal choice. And I ask that we are respected for our personal choice as we respect others for their personal choice to to take it or to not not to take it. To take it or not to take it. Personal choices across the board. <laughs> she says, Jer Cheryl Frugal. Hi, sweetie. I'm wondering how long would your videos be without you editing some of your chit chat or squirrel moments? <laughs> I just ordered some ribbons from Bobby. The bicycle ribbon touched me years ago. My mother and a dear friend would ride bikes daily if the weather was above 32. Oh, they would ride past my old farmhouse early in the morning, ringing the bicycle bells. Oh, my mother never heaven's gate. A year tomorrow, bless your heart. I will be making a funky bow soon in her memory. I enjoyed your singing as well. Mother loved harmonizing. Aw, I'm so sorry, Cheryl. Um, right now, <laughs> I have an hour and seven minutes and four, five, six seconds of footage right now. <laughs> I hope that I can trim it down to be about a, you know, 35 to 40 minute video, <laughs> but we'll see, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I have a lot of footage, you know, I have a lot of footage. Okay, and that's it, that's all the questions I have. Other than do I rent Chris out, no. <laughs> okay, that's it, you guys. Oh, my goodness, what a day we've had, huh? I have to tell you something about the mascara that I bought the other day. I can't remember what it's called right now. I think I'm going to have to not wear it anymore. I put it on this morning, and yesterday it did the same thing. Uh, it is really making my eyes uh, not feel so good, uh, kind of itchy and kind of uh, irritated. They're irritated. So... I took it off last night and the irritation stopped. So I thought, well, let me try it again today and make and make sure. So if you see my eyes are red, that's what's what's going on. So I, I'm not going to be able to wear it, you guys. Unfortunately, this happens to me all the time. This is why I only wear Clinique, you know, what I've worn since my mom introduced it to me all those years ago, you know, and I just can't, I can't, I very rarely can wear it. And I thought, well, mascara really doesn't touch but it must, just enough of it must get near my whateverness and make me crazy. So I'm going to have to, when I'm done here, I'm going to go wash my eyes because <laughs> they're really bothering me. And were yesterday, you know, so it's nothing to do with the COVID vaccine or anything like that. They were bugging me yesterday before we went for the shot. So just in case anybody says that, they're not. Uh, I, in fact, I have no symptoms. I can't even hardly feel, she gave me the, the shot. I can't even feel where I got the shot. It was up here in this muscle. I can't even feel that, you guys. So I feel I feel very, very lucky that this is the case. But anyway, all right, I'm gonna hush because now I've got an hour and nine minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna hush and I'm gonna put this into place and then I'll take a last video 
just set to music around the table there so y'all can see her in place. Now you're gonna see the back of her head, you know, from the back of the table, but that doesn't bother me. I usually set set my dough bowl on the table so that it's pointing out in the room, you know, out toward in this part of the house. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I don't know if y'all have plans, but uh, it's supposed to be chilly here this weekend, but then next week it's supposed to warm up and be in the 70s for a couple of days. Yay! Uh, as far as what's coming uh, next week, I don't have a clue. More uh, reveals probably with my Easter decor and uh, probably not so many decorate with me's because as I said, I'm just plugging Easter in. So if you have questions, keep them coming because I don't really have anything else that I want to go buy. Although I do have the QVC bunnies have been shipped uh, and the my sheer egg garlands have been shipped so I can haul both of those maybe a Monday's video if they arrive you know or Wednesday's video sometime next week so you know keep the questions coming uh I may uh, if I run out of content I may do that one you know uh one suggestion that that lady gave me that you know how have my kids and my and Chris and my mom and dad how did everybody influence my life you know and make me the person I am today <laughs> I don't know. So I might do that if I run out of content here. So, uh, all right, let me just say thank you guys so much to every single one of you who make such wonderful, wonderful, wonderful comments. But I thank you guys so much for all of your comments, all of your sweet words, all of your support, your never ending love, your kindness. You are so kind. I have the, the, the sweetest subbies on the planet. I keep saying it. I keep saying it and I do, I do. And I appreciate every single one of you. Please know when you see my heart come on your on your comment that I've read it and I've taken it to my heart. And I thank you guys. I thank you guys so much for all of you, for all of your support and everything every single day. So we go into my final words. And I'll say I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, Y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for the one last video. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.